Good evening. So today we are turning into the second week of Advent, time flies. So today we light the second purple candle called the candle of peace. We believe that Jesus is the Prince of Peace. And during this week and during this Advent, we pray for more peace in our hearts, in our family, in our community, in our society, and in our life. And we celebrate Advent season every, every year. So we know this, each Advent is an invitation for each one of us. Each Advent is an invitation to come, to live, to repent, to change, to transform in Jesus Christ. And in this week, we hear a special invitation into the gospel. In this week, the church invites each one of us on a journey to the desert to meet with Jesus Christ through a person, namely John the Baptist. And so we are invited to come to the desert to recharge our batteries with God and no one else. This is the moment of hope. This is the moment of love. This is, this is the moment of peace. And this is the moment of salvation. Each day in our life is the day of salvation. Each moment in our life is a moment of salvation. But sometimes or many times, we say to ourselves, today is not our day. Today is not our time to come to the church. Today is not our time to receive reconciliation. Today is not our time to receive Holy Communion, to receive Jesus Christ. But we know this, each day in our life is a day of salvation. Each moment in our life is the moment of salvation. And today we are invited to go to the desert. And there, we are called to show ourselves before God. We are called to make an encounter with Jesus Christ. And we are called not to cover our life in the desert with Jesus Christ. We are called to say to Jesus, here I am, look at me, recognize me, claim me, this is, this is my life. That's why we are called to be here to show ourselves before God, to show ourselves before Jesus Christ, because it's one of us has a history is one of us has a past life. Our history may involve guilt, regrets, wounds, disappointments, fears, and the others. But we know that Jesus knows it's one of us. Jesus knows our history. Jesus knows our past life. Don't worry about anything. Show everything before him in the desert, and then we can make an encounter with him. My dear friends, St. Augustine says, every sin has a past, and every sinner has a future. God has a plan for each one of us. God has a future for each one of us. Trust in him, trust in God's love and mercy, and come to him immediately, to the desert, to make an encounter with him, to be changed, to be renewed, to be transformed by God's love and mercy. My dear friends, today, St. John the Baptist appears in the background of the desert. And this reminds this one of us of the desert in the Exodus of Israel in the Bible, and it also means St. John the Baptist begins a new exodus for God's people. And 
likewise, it's one of us is called and invited to participate in the new Exodus every day. Each day in our life is the new Exodus that God wants to invite one of us to participate in. And in this Exodus every day, God changes our life, renews our hearts, refreshes our soul, and makes us begin a new journey in Him and in Jesus Christ. My dear friends, let us, let us confidently participate in the new Exodus because God promises to many prophets and to each one of us that do not be afraid. I am with you. I am your hands. That's why in the Exodus, in a journey with God, we confidently participate in with our confidence and with our faithfulness. And God said to St. Paul, my grace is sufficient for you, for my power is made perfect in your witness. And likewise, God's grace is enough, is sufficient to each one of us, for his power is made perfect in our witnesses. That's why today we believe that Jesus never commands each one of us to do anything by ourselves because he is always with us. He is always abiding us. He is Emmanuel, God with us. And in this advance, especially in the second week, we have more opportunity to learn and to meditate more about this Emmanuel, God with us. My dear friends, today in this week, we hear the message of peace. We hear the message of transformation, the message of change. And we remember this message appears and happens not in a com comfortable places in our families or in our communities, but this message happens in a wilderness. And likewise, sometimes or many times, we are living in the wilderness of our life. We are in the wilderness of sickness and illness. We are in the wilderness of poor finance. We are in the wilderness of disappointment. We are in the wilderness of fears. We are in the wilderness of our sins and temptations. And we are in the wilderness of division in our community. And that's why the wilderness may be our family, may be our community, may be our hearts, may be our society, and our world. And that's why today, in this wilderness, in this journey, the call of the prophet Isaiah, as we heard in the first reading, comes to us. Comfort, comfort my people. We believe that God comforts, comforts is one of us every day by his love, compassion, and forgiveness. And also, we are called to become a world of comfort to our brothers and sisters. We are called to comfort people as well by our love, by our sacrifice, by our patience, by our forgiveness. My dear friends, today we are turning into the second week of Advent and we are going deeper into the mystery of the incarnation of Jesus Christ and we are moving closer to Christmas celebration, we are called to be more aware of God's presence, to be more aware of God's calling to each one of us to come to him, to meet with him, to make an encounter with him. And also, we are called to recharge our batteries, to renew our hearts, to refresh our soul, and to begin a new journey in Jesus Christ. In this way, we can prepare ourselves we prepare our family in the best way to welcome Jesus 
to come into our life, not only in this event, not only in Christmas celebration, but every day, every moment in our life. Amen.